PubMed is obviously like a researcher's best friend. So I can type my terms in like this, and then I sort by most recent. To Times New Romans, double spaced, 4,800 words. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another study vlog. I'm an immunology student. Today, I'm going to take you through the process of writing a 5,000 word immunology research report in hopefully a single day. I've got some crazy deadlines coming up and I need to finish this draft by tonight so that I can send it off tomorrow morning. I'm literally starting from complete scratch. Usually I follow these four steps to actually write out a full research report. First step is really just to open up a blank document and then writing down what I think the sections and the subsections look like. Once I think I have the flow that I want, I will move into step number two, which is to actually deep dive into literature and pull references and citations and then jot down all of the key points that I want to make into the paper. This step usually takes the longest. Step number three is the fun part where I get to piece everything together. That's where the 5,000 word essay really comes together. And then the last part is just to proof and edit once over so that I can have a full readable draft. As I bring you guys through the day with me, I'll actually talk a little bit more about each step in detail and then also show you my progress. I pulled up a couple of papers that I've written before that I can use as a reference. This blank document, which is kind of scary to look at right now to start off with. And then my favorite Pomodoro app, which is the Flow app right here. It's been about two, two and a half hours since I started working, went through my Pomodoro session. I've spent an hour and a half brainstorming some of the sections that I want to write in the paper and organizing the actual paper itself. I also went onto the journal that I'm submitting this paper to and looked up some of the author guidelines. I think I ended up with about six big sections in total. And I actually also got started for about 30 minutes to an hour pulling from literature and pulling out my citations. So I'm done the key points for the introduction of the paper. I think I'm making okay progress. In terms of finding literature, Usually I stick to a few key resources. PubMed is obviously like a researcher's best friend and I use that religiously. And I'm sure we already know this, but if you go to advanced search in PubMed, you can actually use these functions like and or not to see which terms you want to search together or not together. So let's just say I want to find papers that contain both HIV and immunology. So I can type my terms in like this and then click search and then PubMed's gonna come up. And then I sort by most recent to find new and upcoming papers. But PubMed can get quite specific, maybe a bit too specific. And especially if I'm just starting to write a paper, I kind of want broader knowledge in the field to direct my writing before I deep dive into some of the specific literature and papers out there. I actually just go into Google search and just type out a bunch of keywords into the search bar and see what comes up. Finding relevant review papers is really useful, especially if you're just like curating your headings and then the organization of your papers. So referencing off of those is really nice. And of course, I also have my own personal database of papers that I've been using for years and referencing off of them. So I'm just pulling from different resources to make these notes. And I think from now for the next three or four hours of work, I'll just be pulling literature. Everything is still in bullet points. I don't have a single complete sentence. This phase is really just for writing down key points and almost like brain dumping onto paper so that I can sort it out later. Okay, it's been a while since I'm working now, so I'm gonna go take a break and eat breakfast.
Okay, my bag is packed now. I'm just getting really bored of sitting at my desk. It's actually really ironic to think about how I would voluntarily go and study in a public space now because a year and a half ago, I hated studying in public. I get so distracted so easily with noises. And so as a student, to be able to focus in libraries or even a cafe, I have been using and loving loop earplugs. These are the loop quiet earplugs and I bought these with my own money. I have loved them. They're just able to help me dim down background noise and help me focus a little bit more in public spaces. But recently, I've also been able to try out the loop switch earplugs and these are my absolute go-to for studying in public especially on days like this when i'm trying to write a whole manuscript or a paper i actually don't like to listen to any music at all because it's just way too distracting while i'm trying to type out words so these loop earplugs are just amazing for being able to tune out ambient noise and help me completely focus on my work i'm always preaching about study tools that are flexible and adaptable without taking them out of my ears i can dial between three different volume modes so that i can go from complete focus on my work to being able to engage in conversation with other people while still staying in my zone. And personally, I have super, super small ears, so I find a lot of ear tech really uncomfortable to wear. But loop earplugs are really lightweight and comfortable, and so I can wear them all day long without them being a distraction. I'll be using these loop earplugs to completely lock in on focus mode and keep typing on my paper. still literature searching and I'm a lot more behind than I thought I would be. So far just with point form I have 3,000 words so I think speed wise I'm just going a lot slower than I thought I would. I still have two sections left worth of literature searches that I need to do. In the second half this paper is taking a lot longer just because it's a topic that I'm less familiar with so I haven't written about it before so I'm doing a lot more googling and searching compared to the first half of the paper and I completely did not account for that. Regardless this paper still needs to be done by tomorrow morning so I think it's gonna be a little bit of a late night shower, did my skincare. I am so not in mood to do work right now. In an effort to help with the procrastination, I'm gonna curl my hair. <laughs> I got this mermaid waver off of a friend. The first time I tried using this was like the night before a really big presentation and my hair blew up like a haystack. So because right now I don't want to do any work and I'm bored.
going to do this. like different lighting hold on i think this lighting is a little bit better i don't know maybe it's not the lighting issue maybe it's just my face and my hair okay i think because this is the second time i'm using this hair tool it turned out much better than the first time it's growing on me i kind of like it okay my procrastination is unfortunately over i'm gonna get back to work we left off a couple hours ago with two sections left to do lit searching on i think i said this before but lit searching is literally the longest most tedious part just so time and focus intensive i just get so much brain fatigue and brain fog that's why i'm taking so many breaks in between okay let's go work we got this Happy to report that I am done lit searching. My document right now has 19 pages and 4,620 words. There's probably a few references that I'm missing, but at almost 12 a.m., I cannot give anymore. Sometimes you just gotta call it quits. This is only draft number one. I'm sure there's gonna be many, many iterations of this manuscript. I'm gonna make a really simple and quick meal and then get on to writing and putting this whole essay together. I guess right now I should say good morning again because it's almost 3 a.m. Actually, I'm a little bit surprised that I got it done. And then there's not really a lot of interesting things to show you. This is my entire doc. 12 point font, Times New Romans, double spaced, the classic, 4,800 words. Just shy of 5,000, but 5,000 was actually the limit and not the minimum. So I think I spent a total of two and a half hours just putting the entire manuscript together from bullet points. I ate my dinner pretty quickly to not waste time because I really want to go to bed. There's still one thing that I need to do that I didn't get to, which is doing like a first glance and doing the first round of edits or in other words copy editing it I think it's a little too late for that now so I unfortunately will just have to leave it for tomorrow it's usually a one-hour process it doesn't take that long but when it's three in the morning I don't want to work until four in the morning so I'm gonna call it quits here I think I'm overall really happy with the progress. The paper took a little bit longer than I thought it would, but there were some things and roadblocks that I wasn't anticipating. Like I said, the first half of the paper consisted of a lot of topics that I've written about before and that I'm used to reading about, so pulling references for that was easy peasy, but the second half of the paper was a lot more challenging. Like I said, there are some references and papers that I still want to plug into the paper. That being said, the purpose of a first draft is really just to get all of your main ideas onto paper and then see that organization in that flow firsthand. I'm not too worried about the nitty gritty right now. Once I show this to my research supervisor, the entire organization and the flow is going to change. All of the information is going to change. That's just how it is when it comes to writing manuscripts. So there's not really a point in me being super detailed just for the first draft. Draft number two or maybe even three is where it gets a lot cleaner and you can see the full story of your research come to life. I hope you learned something new.
you in terms of the process of how I write my research papers. People have different processes and how they prefer to write their research paper and to develop your own style it requires a lot of patience and a lot of experience. Personally for my own tips and tricks I've learned it from countless mentors and just writing a gazillion papers in undergrad and I'm still through the learning process but I feel like I've also developed a good enough workflow that this is getting me through grad school. Anyways, thank you so much for being here. I'm tired now. I'm gonna go to bed. I hope you had an equally productive study day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.